I'm going to want to uh, make a new layer and start working with texture and stuff. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and lock the cactus, hit Control L for a new layer. I'm just going to hit the eyeball on the cactus so I can see where those lines are in regards to uh, for my texture. So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that layer and I'm just going to call this lines because um, I'm using the element of line to complete um, kind of this texture looking um, uh, the lines on the cactus. All right, so it's a good thing you can't actually touch a cactus because I hear they're kind of sharp sometimes. Um, but I am kind of thirsty and I know they hold a lot of water. Anyway, um, I hit P for the pen tool. I'm going to go ahead and hit X for my fill, slash my fill, hit X again. And I'm just going to make this um, a dark shade of green for my line. Let's go ahead and select the brush, hit the play button. I'm going to open the brush library. Remember, don't forget about the brush library. It's a lot of fun, but we can also use it to our advantage. And I love the Chinese brush. Let's go 0.5 now. I changed my mind on that. And then I'm just going to go ahead and draw out um, some of the lines that we have here. Now, it's really, really kind of thick here. So I'm going to work with the stroke weight. Hit A. Click on that a little bit. And I want to work with the stroke weight. Now, using the Chinese brush is a nice little um, kind of stylized thing. It's really kind of thick. So I'm just going to go ahead and make it 0.1. And I typed it in because 0.1 doesn't really show up up here. And that makes it look a little bit more um, nature-esque, um, so um, that, that kind of Chinese brush. And I'm just going to go ahead and draw some more of those lines. Now remember, I hit the eyeball on my cactus because I wanted to see where those lines are that I'm drawing. Okay, So that eyeball um, is not there for the cactus layer. And I'm, that helps me in regards to allowing me to draw out my lines. And like I said, I love the Chinese brush because it gives me that opportunity to um, explore kind of like really cool things in nature. And I'm going to hit Control Shift A. I didn't really like how that line turned out. So I'm going to hit A. I'm just going to go ahead and use the handles. I just um, A is the direct selection tool. And just drag that handle a little bit in so it lines up a little bit. And then I could just go ahead and Control Shift A and then control and just move this a little bit that way. Control, remember, if you hold it down, um, will allow you to go to the selection tool really quickly and the tool you're using. Um, and I'm just going to do a couple more just for time's sake, because I know you guys are anxious to start your um, reference picture um, um, options. And um, so I, I, I'm going to go ahead and hit the cactus. Um, and you notice how it goes off of the cactus um, option. So one of the things I would probably do next is I'm going to go ahead and lock this layer because I'm going to go to the cactus layer. I'm just going to unlock the cactus layer because if you don't unlock the cactus layer, remember you get this pencil with a line through it and then everyone's like, Mr. Off, my computer's broken and it hates me and Adobe Illustrator it has a vendetta against me and it doesn't. It's just you have your layer locked and you're just going to unlock it. And I'm going to hit um, A for the direct selection tool. And what I would do is um, just change my opacity on the cactus. You could always change it back. And I made a mistake here. I got to make sure I, it knows what I'm selecting before it changes the opacity. Now I went to the selection tool, selected it, and now I changed the opacity. You can always learn from my mistakes because um, that's always the best part of learning is when you make mistakes. It's a really good tip to know when, and when you're doing art. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and lock the cactus layer. Now I'm going to go back to my lines. I'm going to hit A. I'm going to zoom in by hitting Control Plus. And then you can go ahead and a for the direct selection tool. Make sure you click on that anchor point. And I'm just going to start working with my line. And then work with the handles. I think you guys can handle that, right? Working with the handles. Pun intended. I'm a kind of punny guy, just to warn you, if you haven't noticed already. And just bring this in a little bit. And you're just kind of working with line, like I said, for time's sake. I'm not going to do all the lines um, in regards to, make sure you click on the anchor point, in regards to this, the reference picture um, project. Let's say, um, here's a quick fix to this. Um, I'm having a hard time pulling the handles to the correct spot. I'm going to do a little trick that I've learned over the past. Where I'm in the pen tool, I'm just going to add an, a pen. Um, remember, P for the pen tool. And then um, I'm just going to, when I bring it over to the line, it makes a plus. Whoops, I missed it. So I hit Control Z, add a, add a anchor point there and the pen with the plus, and anchor point here. So there's two here, and there's one in the middle that was originally there. Then I'm going to go to that one in the middle, hit that minus, and then we've got um, a really nice kind of line. So we have a 
you know, those two anchor points that I originally just made, and I just got rid of the one in the middle, and that helps me with my line if, I'm, if I can't handle it, pun intended. All right, so I have um, my lines, and I could go back to my cactus, and let's say I wanted to change the opacity. Make sure you select it if you're going to change the opacity back. And then I have my lines. It's starting to come into uh, form here, or shape, should I say. Um, and um, I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer, Control-L. And then I'm going to work with, you know, um, the um, kind of like the uh, sh shadows and highlights. So let's just call this, um, you know, like uh, tints and shades. I like to um, kind of do this. Um, in regards to um, working with the cactus um, so that I can uh, add a little bit more um, realistic feel to it. And let's just hold off on that lines layer. And I'm going to go to the cactus layer and I'm going to unlock it. It's really important that we make sure we're, you know, knowing which layers are labeled and stuff so you can unlock and know what to unlock. Um, let's go ahead and make this really kind of light. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and go to my tints and shades layer and I'm just going to um, switch the fill and the stroke. Actually it won't let me because that's a gradient so I have to, s I have to um, none the, the fill because you can't bring a gradient to a stroke. If you think about it, you know, that outside outer line or contour um, cannot be a gradient because it has to be a solid color. So I'm just going to go ahead and um, whoops, I have the cactus selected, so Control shift a um, so I deselected it, and then I'm going to go ahead and slash my fill, and let's go ahead and give myself a, a um, green fill, but I want to make it a shade, because we're working with tints and shades. Make sure we're on the correct layer now, okay, it's really important that we make sure we do that. And I made it a shade of green, and now I'm just going to go ahead and draw out some really neat um, parts of the drawing. It's kind of like the, you know, when you do the paint by numbers and you kind of fill in that shading of that number. I'm just going to change the opacity so I can see what I'm doing. Um, let's go ahead and um, make this cactus a little bit more visible so I can see what's going on. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and Go back to my tints and shades. Let's just change this. I'm going to hit I for the eyedropper tool. Select this green because I want to use that again. So I, and then I just clicked on that green. So I'm going to go back to the pen tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and I want to go to this. I'm just working with the shade here. Let's change that to the outline so I can see what I'm doing. And I'll, I can always change it back to the fill. So I just did the outline. And then I'm going to go ahead and bring that to the fill. Um, fill is invited to this cactus party. Okay. There we go. We're getting some nice. And again, for time's sake, I'm not going to get all the shading done because I want to save some time for you guys because I know you're excited about doing this for your project. Okay, so I'm working with um, shade, and then I'm going to go ahead and work with um, tints. So let's hit X to get to my fill. Let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit of a lighter green, because I'm going to go with a tint, maybe more to the to the white. Let's hit Control Z. I don't like that, so I'm just going to double click on my green and use my select color. Um, so I double clicked on my fill, and let's go with a tint, maybe too light. Kind of select one. There we go. And I want to do a highlight. So I'm just going to go ahead and work with the cactus. Work with me, people. Or cactus thing, I should say. All right. And there we go. And, you know, I'm just, again, going to go in and tighten this up a little bit with my direct selection tool. So it looks kind of nice and classy. And we're working right now, I'm working with lighting. And you notice that this is going to probably go in front of that shade, and I don't want that to really happen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select it, right-click. So it's a top button on your pen. So I select it, right-click, arrange, send it back, and it's going to go behind it. So right-click, arrange, send it back, and that goes behind that object or um, 
the shade on my layer, okay? Um, so that's how you um, were, if you were to put something behind, um, you know, an object that you just created behind um, another one on the same layer. Remember, you would um, select this, right click, arrange, send it back. Okay, pretty cool. So for, again, for time's sake, I'm not going to get too much into shading. Now you're going to notice that my layers, when I bring this back, um, you're going to notice that my layers are getting a little bit out of order. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and unlock that cactus, make sure it's selected. Whoops, Control Z, because I accidentally moved it. And you know, I'm working with it. You know, the lighting's a little off. I'm going to have to fix that, obviously, because that you know things don't line up the way I want it to. Uh, maybe get rid of that stroke, so it looks a little bit. Um, you know, better, um, you know, line things up and the tints and shades. But you'll notice, um, like I said, um, with layers um, and when making these lines, you know, that I'm going to want the lines to come in front. So um, let's go to this lines layer. Let's lock the layer of tints and shades because you always want to lock down before you move your layers around. Um, so all my layers are locked and bring that lines in the front there. So you can see that I drag that layer up like we learned in our layer sandwich. And now that layer is in the front. I'm working with, um, you know, shade and tint. Don't forget these, those other tools like the mesh tool, which can be a lot of fun as well. Um, nothing selected. I change it to another color. Um, you can go ahead and make sure that you unlock that cactus layer. And then you can work with all sorts of um, cool stuff to make your logo really cool. But again, this is for like, you know, if you don't have many, you know, you have a lot of colors you can work with. Um, and you can always tighten things up as well on the reference picture. And then when you're done with the reference picture, dun, 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 the, one of the exciting things is, is you can actually get rid of your reference picture by going to the reference picture, hit the eyeball if you think you might need it again, or just drag it to the trash can and it's gone, okay? So we have our kind of stylized cactus here.